In this paper, we propose the kernel NISTOM method for reconstructing the light transport matrix from a small number of acquired images. The NISTOM method exploits both linear and nonlinear data coherence in the light transport matrix for reconstructing the matrix. The reconstructed light transport matrix can be used to render the scene under new lighting conditions. Here we show relighting results of scenes with a variety of light transport effects, including specular reflection, caustics, light occlusion, and subsurface scattering. Using a projector camera system, we acquire columns of the light transport matrix by projecting a light beam to a diffuser. That creates a point light source above the scene. Then, with a laser system, we acquire rows of the light transport matrix by shooting the laser beam at a surface point in the scene. The rows of the light transport matrix are obtained from the image on the diffuser. After acquiring a small number of columns and rows, we apply the kernel NISTOM method to reconstruct the whole light transport matrix from the acquired columns and rows. We have evaluated the kernel NISTOM method using test scenes with a different light transport characteristics. Here is a scene with multiple objects and various types of surface properties. The light transport matrix is reconstructed from 150 columns and rows. All lighting effects are well preserved in the reconstructed light transport, including specularity, shadowing, and caustics. Compared with the ground truth, the anisotropic reflection and subtle color bleeding effect on the wax cube are accurately reproduced. Here is a scene with multiple glass objects, which lead to complex shadows and caustics. The light transport matrix is reconstructed from 250 columns and rows. The dynamic caustics and shadows produced by the reconstructed light transport match the ground truth very well. Here is a scene with a complex shadow which scans the floor as light direction changes. Compared with the ground truth, the complex shape of the shadow and its dynamics are well reproduced with the reconstructed light transport. Here is a scene with a concave object which leads to interreflections between different parts of the object's surface. The color bleeding effect due to interreflections is well captured with the reconstructed light transport. Notice that the subtle color bleeding from the tennis ball matches the ground truth closely. Here we show translucent materials captured using our method. The high resolution diffuse BSS RDFs are obtained after acquiring 50 images, which take only a few minutes. Notice that the anisotropic subsurface scattering is well preserved and the detailed marble veins are reproduced. Here we show relighting results of the captured translucent materials. Finally, we show relighting results of the test scenes under environment lighting. In conclusion, we present the kernel NISTOM method for modeling the light transport matrix from sparse sampled images of the scene. We show it is efficient for modeling different kinds of light transport, including specular reflections, shadows, caustics, interreflections, and subsurface scattering.